I'm sporting a hat today, a winter one, because it's snowing outside. We got, I don't know, like one or two inches. So, um, anyways, we are going to do white bread. I've had some requests for bread. I don't typically make bread because it takes forever. Like, I'll make zucchini or banana or pumpkin or something like that. But I typically don't make yeast bread because it takes forever. And usually I don't have time to do it. However, I found some time um, in this past month to be able to do bread. So I already actually did two loaves. They turned out really good. So I thought I would record it and do more. So what you need is a packet of rapid, rapid rise instant yeast. Just one envelope of it. And then you're going to put like 100, 110 temperature of two and one fourth of water. And I always, I mean, I try to like, I mean, it says warm, but your warm might be different than my warm. So I just always temp it out. And this one's at 110. So that's just what I do. So it's two and one fourth cup. And then I take my little whisk. Oh, hold on. Sorry. I take my little whisk and whisk it to dissolve. And then I set it aside. Okay, so in a bowl, dissolve yeast in warm water. There we go. All right, and the problem is on the sides. It like gets on the sides, I don't know why. It just likes to be difficult. Hey, I found the flames. Jamie apparently found some planes somewhere. So it'll be a little bit clumpy and you want to make sure those clumps get out before you use it. Make sure all of it is dissolved. All right, it looks like it is. I am going to do this on my phone. And like you have to let this, up, this stuff rise for like an hour and a half. So I don't know. I might be without a phone for a little bit. Um, all right. So it says pour this. And I have a KitchenAid with a hook, a dough hook. So I'm very fortunate and lucky and happy. So I'm going to put that in there. Then I'm going to add sugar, which is three tablespoons of sugar. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt. And I'm going to add three cups of flour. Oh, I'm sorry. One, two tablespoons of oil. And then three cups of flour. Now, I did it totally different. This not totally different, but I did it a little bit different this morning because I did not read the three cups of flour and I put all six in. I mean, it worked out. The kids loved it. But... Put your three in with your dough hook. Okay. Go start it. It says beat until smooth and then add enough of the remaining flour, one half cup at a time, which I'll probably put a cup at a time because who has time for that to make a soft dough. So that's what we'll do. I'll scrape the bowl. Hopefully you guys are doing good today. The sun is not out. The snow is a little shocked. It's supposed to be 70 some degrees next week but on a day like today when you're freezing and um it's cold outside and you don't have anywhere to go or you shouldn't be going anywhere i mean i could go lots of places shopping but um when you should not be going anywhere this is the best thing to do is make bread your kids will thank you for it your significant other might too. I don't know if they like bread, I guess. This makes two huge loaves. 
I gave one of the loads away. So hopefully, when I post this, she comments on it if she likes it or not. She was busy at the store when I called, so it's not as warm as it could have been, but she's got a brand new home. She's excited, and I wanted to give her like a little housewarming present. Okay, so soft dough, we're going to add, this will be four cups. I just don't want to forget how many I put in here. So there's four. It says add six to seven, so we'll see. And it did say by the half cup, so if you're a rule follower, go ahead. I'm, I guess I'm not a rule follower at this point. On baking, I'm not a rule follower. Typically in life I am. So this, I call this bread like a hurry up and wait bread because like you got to make it and you want to hurry it up, but then you got to wait till it um, rises and all that fun stuff. But I discovered this on my oven. Um, Ms. Bowser was talking about on her oven um, at school, at her oven at home though, um, that she had a proofing button. And I'm like, what? I said, I think I have one of those. I don't know what they are. And she goes, it's too bread proof. And so you can proof your bread because it, it does it at 100 degrees. I'm like, what? So I'm so glad to talk to her about that. I might have flour all over my hair or hat. Okay, this is... I'm hoping it's six. I think it is. See, I forget. Woo! Going everywhere. Oh my goodness. Flour out of the bowl. Man. I do not like that part of it. I feel like <laughs> I'm eating it. Whew. And that's it on the flour. I might. Hopefully, I didn't put too much. I don't think I did. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Alright, so, it says dump, oh, not yet, make a soft dough, which I kind of have a soft dough. Alright, add remaining flour, I feel like it's a soft dough. Now it says dump onto a floured surface and knead 8 to 10 minutes. Well, because I'm using the um, dough hook, I do not have to knead it. Yay! Cause that's such a pain, I'll tell you. No one wants to knead bread. Although I guess it's good for muscle building. So I'm just kneading it until it looks, until elastic it says. And last time I kind of took it off the Hook. I don't know, this doesn't bother me as much as like other stuff to touch. Okay. Let me tell you, my house, we did two Zooms today. We did one for the, um, like we had a tea meeting. And then I had one with uh, Mrs. Duncan and the class. And the whole house smells so good. I think that I don't want to over. 
would beat it. So I'm gonna say it. Woo! I'm gonna say it's done. Woo! Okay. I'm gonna say it's done. Now, ouch. What I have to do is what's it say? Put in a grease bowl. Yeah, because it's elasticy. It's stickier than. Okay, so this one's stickier than this morning's. I think because I put seven cups of dough. I mean, seven cups of flour. Um, blah, 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 blah. All right, so put this in a grease bowl. I put this in a. I, I already greased it with uh, virgin olive oil. And. Oh, I'm thinking I should use some. I might. Once it. I'm going to maybe make pizza crust with it too. I may not make two loaves of bread because we already have bread. All right, so it said put it in your bowl because now it has all the grease on it. Then flip it over so it has grease on the top, which, which I did. And now it has to go in the oven to prove, or well, to rise one and a half hours. So I have my proof thing on. 100 and I'm going to put this in you got to cover it so I was going to cover it with a, a towel but then I'm like I'm putting that in the oven I don't know how safe that is it should be fine it's only 100 degrees but I'll just cover it with foil and I'm going to put it in there for an hour and a half okay and so then we'll wait. Okay. So it's been an hour and 10 minutes. And it is, has doubled the size. So. Well, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. from my book. Oh, there it is. Alright, it says place, okay, punch down. So, you're supposed to let it rise in a warm place until it doubles about one and a half hours. Punch down and return to a floured surface. Divide dough in half to form two loaves. So, let me get the flour. Punch down. Mm -hmm. All right, get the flour. Now, the other bread I made wasn't as pretty, so maybe. So I said divide the dough, so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I do think I'm going to make some, I did it in here this morning, I made two loaves, but I'm thinking I want to make some little loaves in here, um, cause the kids ate like so much of it. So I might just spray this or oil it couple of those and do some in there and I wanted to do some pizza dough I thought that'd be good I am taping believe it or not believe it or not you're not taping I am right Where? here oh Jonathan we need a little faith yeah Okay, so I'm going to do some in here. Jamie, go around the other way, please. Oh, we get to listen to 
the Christmas music. Five o'clock. Yeah. I think I'm going to do four of these. And then pizza dough. I'm like trying to think of what I want to do. I was just going to make bread and then I thought, well, now it's five o'clock and I'm sure they're all going to be hungry. So I better do something. Okay. So I'm going to oil this can up. Remember, this isn't a disgusting, gross, nasty stone. I mean, it looks like it, but it's supposed to be like that. Truly. I promise. Research it if need be. Okay, so I'm going to clump off some dough. This dough feels way better than this morning, and let me tell you, this morning's dough was so good. So, I don't know, this might even be perfection. I had never made it. I think something stuck. Okay. I had never made it. And so, anyways, I'm going to put it like that in here. Um, so that was my first time. And it actually wasn't that bad. It's got to rise some more, though. So it's going to be a little bit. Make sure I'm putting enough. I think it'll double in size when it rises and then it'll bake. So I think it's going to be okay. I have to do a few more. So hopefully, everybody got out today if you needed to, and um, it's not too bad out, slippery, or anything. Um, Thomas did get home. He went on an accident call this morning and um, he said actually it wasn't that bad. Um, he was a little upset that there was no bread. We know, what are you going to do, right? He, he was a little mad. But see, Jamie, he's my bread guy. Um, he loves bread, whether it's pumpkin bread, banana, mostly banana bread, but um, white bread, he's like, ooh. He had never had that made by me, so um, that probably is his new favorite. He was very excited about it, so he pretty much ate half the loaf for lunch. Well, then Thomas was all upset because he didn't get any, so he said, there better be bread. So I thought if I do it like this, then there'll be some left for him. He didn't get any of the waffle stuff yesterday either so he was not happy so, well you're the one going to the station all the time to do homework i mean what do you expect me to do he he wants tom jonathan to bring him a loaf of bread today so we'll see he's kind of shrunk when i put him in so that's why i'm redoing it And maybe they will rise up. I don't know. I'm thinking of that song. I'll rise up. <sighs> I was thinking about making the copycat squash soup by Panera. Um today. I'll have to see. 
thought bread and soup, that sounds good, right? Salad, maybe? A good dinner. Okay. So I made, I'm going to put these on a pan. Um, so I can cover them. So one, two, three, four, five, six pans. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put that towel over them because when I pulled the stuff out of the um, oven, it was not anywhere near um, hot. So there's like no way this is hot. So it has to double in size, or not double in size, what is it? Um, let me read. It says, place the loaves side by side. Okay, allow to rise until just top of the pan. So probably double. All right. And so this one is going to be a pizza crust. I got to wake this up so I can move my pan. the longest I've been without my phone. It's kind of, I don't know, I sat down and was watching a little TV, was not bothered with the phone. Hopefully no one's trying to get a hold of me. Although they know my kids' phone numbers, so if there was a problem, they could call them. Okay, so I am going to, I used to work at Little Caesars way back when, and we would have dough kind of like this. And we would have to do it. Truly, we did, didn't we? It was, it was a little hard, but we would have to make the crust. I remember doing it and putting my hand through I don't know how many dough things. I'm thinking, I cannot, there's no way I can beat the crust out that that much. Eh. Now we used to use corn cornmeal in the pan. I guess I didn't have a ring back then. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not Italian. I don't want to get too thin and it's getting thin in some areas and thicker in others. All right, well, you know what? It'll be what it'll be, right? I'll try to... It's got to rise up. I don't know, this might be the best dough ever for pizza. It just takes a while. Or it may not be. Sorry, I know that's loud. One of Jonathan's friends yesterday said, I don't like when you bang on stuff. It's just, it, it's too loud. I said, all right, I will be cautious of that. Okay. There's the pizza crust. So we'll let that, um, we'll cover that too with the other towel. These are those towels I got from my FabFitFun box, and they're the tea towels. And um, I didn't really know what I was going to use them for, but I knew I wasn't going to just put them out. So these are perfect. All right. Put them in the oven. I'm going to set it for a half hour and hope for the best. I'll see you in a little bit.
Okay, the dinger's going off. Let's check it and see. Mm. Uh, I think you can go a little longer. She needed to start. She just started. I am. I started to. I mean. So let's go 10 more minutes. Let's see how it goes. This? Alright, let's check. Alright, I think we're good to bake them. I'm going to take this out. So it's going to be, you bake it at 350. Bake it at 350. Oh, let me turn that off. For 30 minutes, but that's for a huge loaf. So I'm going to put 15 just so I can watch it. And I'll start the pizza. Okay. It didn't look like it rose up too much, and maybe it's not supposed to. I'm not sure, or maybe I messed it up, or maybe it's not supposed to be pizza crust. We'll see. We will see. Okay, I never use pizza sauce ever, ever, never. I just use spaghetti sauce because I think it has a better flavor. It's not so pasty. And what I've learned. Is you don't take it all the way out to the um, everything kind of comes into the middle so you take it you do take it all the way out to the, the crust especially if your kids don't like the crust sometimes it's just because it's not flavored now this one is flavorful so it's not like I need to add any spices or anything sometimes when I use ragu or prego I have to add stuff this one's good. This one's from Costco. I think you get four of them for for cheap. I'm not sure how much it is. I'm pretty cheap, so I'm sure it's not that expensive. I mean, it's not a dollar like the Prego and stuff when it's ten for ten. But anyway. <laughs> Our ferocious little puppies. All right. And then what I do, because um, I will want to use this again, and I'll say, huh, when, when did I open that? So I always put the date on it. So today is the 17th. And so I know that within five days, this is not going to be any more. I think it's five. Let's look. Yep, use within five days. So... Um, after the fifth day, you're going to just throw it away, or on the fifth day, you're going to want to use it. Make something, more pizza, or whatever. All right. Put that in the fridge. So, I'm going to use some of this cheese. It's Taylor's favorite. She doesn't like it because it stinks. It's so good, though. It'll be good. Now, I mean, I'm sure people are out there saying, oh my goodness, you should use real mozzarella. I know, but you know what? I'm just using what I got. I'm, I'm not claiming to be a chef here. I do have a couple friends who are, but I am not. I'm going to need more of this here. Please and thank you. I don't know who they hear or what they hear. Are y'all not getting any mail in your mailbox? Um, we used to get, oh, a good 20 pieces of mail a day, whether it was junk or whatever. I mean, we do have six people in our family, but um, we're getting nothing. No mail at all. And like today, nothing came in. And it's very odd for no mail to come. So, I don't know. I thought that was a little weird. A lot of weird. All right. So, half of it's going to be 
for the kids, and then the other half is going to be for the, well, the two little ones, I guess, because they don't like to try too much. But Jamie would eat the meat, and I think Taylor will too, if it's yeah, if it's all over. I think she will. Yeah, you will. Like you'll be fine. Nice. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, we get to hear another Christmas song. It means it is 6 o'clock. Wow. We started the bread process around 3.30. So, obviously, you got to commit to some time here. I'm going to put some bacon crumbles on here. I wish, wish, wish I tried to get... I, I thought about buying um, red peppers and stuff like yesterday, and... I just didn't feel like being in the store anymore. I was so tired. I don't know what's come over me. I'm like so tired all the time. And um, I don't know why, but I've even been trying to go to sleep. So I usually can run on four hours, but lately I've been sleeping probably six or seven. So, and still tired. I'm not sure what's going on. Anyways, um, and then I put some feta. <laughs> if you could have seen Taylor's face. Um, she about lost it. Yummy feta. Oh my goodness, it's so good, Taylor. This is your heritage, girl. Yeah, we're Arabic. So some yummy feta. Call it feet cheese. We call that and, um, oh, Swiss cheese, feet cheese. Okay, like it's all over my hands so I'm gonna wash that real quick and I don't like smells but I'm so used to feta that that smell does not bother me I grew up on feta cheese so I had that all the time and I'm going to cut a little bit of an onion just for our side I should have caramelized them it would have been so much better I was gonna get my chopper out and I thought no it just came out of the dishwasher so I'm not going to do the chopper, just not going to do it. Just going to do it really thin, like tiny, and put them on. I kind of wish I would have gotten the uh, purple onions, but oh well. I'm hoping all these flavors taste okay. I'm thinking they will. The meat was left over from pork belly barbecue, which was... Oh, so good. If you like, I don't want to say the one I don't like, but if you like city barbecue, definitely try pork belly barbecue. It was fantastic last night. It was so good. All right. So I'm just going to sprinkle those on. Caramelized would have been so much better. But whatever. In a pinch. I'm going to be making um, copycat squash Panera soup. Um, I thought soup and bread would be good. And so I might do that tonight. I should be able to do that after those bake. All right. So I'm going to be able to put that in the oven because of the way I set the trays. Actually, I might have to take a tray out. I might just take this one out just because. Okay. All right, so there we go. It's going in. I'm going to take a picture. All right. That's okay. All right. So it'll have seven minutes, but... You know what I usually do and I didn't do? I usually half bake the crust, but it was very thin, so I think it'll be okay when I make pie or, uh, pizza dough. I think it'll be all right. Okay, I'm going to pause and we're going to just wait. Unless you want me to talk to you for seven minutes. Probably not. All right, it's going off. I don't think the pizza's done. Let's go another eight minutes. So 
that'll be a total of 18. Okay, Taylor said I started out at 15. So 15 plus 8 is 23. I thought I started out at 10. So 23 minutes, we're going to check it. Well, really, seven and a half now. You guys can figure that out. You're following me, right? I forgot. I must note that when I was turning the oven on, it wasn't right up to 350. Um, so maybe you're just going to have to watch your oven, I think. They're not getting real brown on the bottom, so I'm not too worried. So, I will let them cook another five minutes. And the crust can cook more. I like it really brown on the bottom. So let's go five more minutes. So now we're up to, say three of those minutes didn't count because it took some time. So 20 plus five. So right around 25 so maybe you just have to do the 30 minutes doesn't matter if they're, it's a big one or a little one anyway so to be around 25 minutes at this point okay it's been five minutes so I shall check these look a little more golden I don't know if you can see them I don't know why I insist upon touching hot things but I do Okay, yeah, I think these are done. All right, so I'm going to pull those out. So we'll say 25 minutes if they're little. Hot, hot, hot. Um, 30 minutes if it's bigger. I'm going to check the pizza. Pizza's looking really good. Still, I don't think the crust is done. So we're going to go ahead and do another five minutes on the pizza. Okay, while that's going, I melted a little butter. Oop. To put on top of these. Very messy. All right. Now, when you cut bread, you have to do it with a serrated knife. If you don't, it'll just kind of like clump. It's bad. So let's see. I'll do this little one. You can flip it. All right. Can you see? Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> 